you guys today? Are you guys ready to have some fun? Let's do it. Yes. All right. Good. And here we go to touch fast, just firm. Bow, courtesy, nice and deep. And here we go to position, say sir. Good, student greet number one. I, I develop myself, myself physically and mentally based on the spirit of personal achievement. Number two, I will only fight to defend my life and the lives of others. And number three, I achieve my fullest potential in developing knowledge Honesty and strength. Ready? What you go? I couldn't even do it better myself. All right, everybody, attention, yes, sir. Go. Thank you, Mr. Sex. Bow courtesy. I do have a head, I promise, guys. <laughs> and everybody, arms out for me nice and fast. Ten jumping jacks. You gotta be faster and louder than Emma and Cora. Ready? Ten jumping jacks. Ready? And go. One, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven. seven. Eight, nine, ten. When you're done, run in place fast. All right, you got to run in place. You got to pick them up. All right, we've been seeing a bunch of you guys coming into class this week. It's good to see you guys. It's been fun seeing you in person. So keep running nice and fast. Keep running nice and fast. We got ten seconds. Quick go. Pick your knees up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Faster, go, go, go. Two and one. Everybody, hands up. Touch your stomach. Reach down, touch the floor. Stick your feet out. Drop out. Do a push up. Stand up. Jump. All right. That's a froggy burpee. A burpee. We're doing burpees. You got 10 burpees. So you're going to jump, drop down, and do a push up. Stand up and jump. 10. Ready to go. Let's see it. One. Miss Riley's got it. Who's going to beat her? Two. Keep going. Ooh, nice. Who's going? Who's going? Allison's going fast. Jason's going fast. Zach's going. Nice work. Good job, Levi. Nice job, Lexi. Keep it up. Keep it up. We got five. Come on, finish them up. Finish them up. You're only doing ten. When you are done, lay down on your back. When you are done, lay down flat on your back. Can you go around? You're not quite done yet. Oh, you're not done yet. Finish her. Come on. Finish all of them. We're counting. All right, good job, good job. When you're done, lay down flat on your back. One more, Miss Riley. One more. All right, she's laying down on her back. Lay down on your back. Hands behind your lower back. We're doing 10 leg lifts. So you're going to pick your knee and legs up and then put them back down. And then pick them up and then put them back down. 10 leg lifts, go. One, two. Oh, man, I'm going to push Riley here. Three. Come on, top lady. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. All right, when you're done, stand up fast. Nice work. Nice work. Stand up, run in place. Run in place a little faster. A little quicker. Everybody start jumping up and down one foot. So you're going to go imaginary jump rope here. One foot. Keep jumping. You got to go faster than AJ. Come on. Come on. We got ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, switch feet, keep going. Keep jumping. There you go, you got five. Come on, four. Three, two, and attention, yes, sir. Nice work. Here we step back, reset. Yeah. Oh, back to attention, yes, sir. You guys better be faster than Miss Riley. Ready, step back, reset. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Good. Hands are up. Everybody start bouncing around with balls your feet. Start bouncing. We're going to work some triple kicks. Triple, that is three kicks without setting it down. So you're going to start with your round kicks. You're going to go one, two, three. As fast as you can. When I say go, three kicks without setting it down. Now, if you're really good, you might want to go low, middle, high. So you come back, one, two, three. Now, if you're balancing that great, one, two, three works too. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Three kicks. Everybody start bouncing around. Ready? And go. One, two, three. Good. Keep moving. Keep moving. A little faster. Ready? And go. One, two, three. Nice. Nice. Keep moving. Keep moving. Who's got the best balance in the room here? Let's see it. Three rounds. Ready? And go. One, two, three. Good. Keep moving. 
Keep moving. Now, everybody shuffle back a little bit. Shuffle back, shuffle back. But now what I want you to do is do your three rounds just like you just did, but I want you to do them offensively. So you're going to do three kicks. One, two, three. Moving in at me, okay? And then shuffle back. Ready and go. One, two, three. Moving in. And then put your foot down. Shuffle back. Eyes on your target. You're ready and go. One, two, three. Boom. Set it down. Shuffle back. Good. One more. Ready and go. One, two, three. Set it down. Shuffle back. Put your feet right your face. Good. We got a couple on this side now. Ready? Moving forward. Keep bouncing. And go. One, two, three. Shuffle back. Shuffle back. Hands up. Ready and go. One, two, three. And shuffle back. Nice job, friends. Hands up. Let's see who's the strongest here. Ready and go. One, two. Good balance. Three. Get those kicks up. Remember, you want to try to get those kicks. This is a sparring class, right? You got to be kicking them in the stomach or in the head. If you're throwing your three kicks knee level, you can't use it, okay? So not one, two, three. Get them up. One, two, boom, three. Hit them hard. Ready and go. Round. Ready. Oh, there you go. Those two good ones on there. One more time. Ready and go. One, two, three. Good. Drop it back. Drop it back. And everybody squat down nice and low. Squat down. Kind of like a horse stance here. Bend those knees. All right. Hands are up by your face. From here, we're going to work some blocks. Keep those elbows in. You're going to turn your body. Turn your body. Now, notice I'm not going whoop, whoop, because if I overcorrect, if I overblock, look what I left open over here. The money maker. People think I'm pretty. Not many of you guys know, but people do. Okay. So from here, you're just going to twist in. Twist just past your center line. Just past your center line. Boom. Stay low. Boom. Go a little lower. Boom, go a little lower. My hands stay tight. I'm dropping lower. Come on, lower. Come on, lower. Come on. Your legs should be burning. We got five, four, three. Good job, Miss Lorelei. Two, one. Shake them out, shake them out, shake them out. All right, we're going to do three round kicks like we did before, and then we're going to finish with a side kick, okay? So from here, we're going to come in one, two, Three, boom, side kick. Okay? So ready, get your hands up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of chase them back. So they're gonna go, oh, round kick, oh, round kick, oh, round kick. I know what they're gonna do, round kick, right? And then boom, you're gonna hit them right there with the side kick. Ready? And go, one, two, three, bam, push your heel. Good. One more, keep moving with it, shuffle back, ready? And go, one, two, three, four. And then shuffle back. Good. A little faster this time. Ready and go. One, two, three, four. Ah! Shuffle back, shuffle back, shuffle back. Switch beats. Space. All right, keep it going. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. Push that side kick out. When you land, hands up. Ready and go. One, two, three. Boom. Four. Good. Hands up. Keep your eyes on your target there. Ready and go. Round two, three, four. Oh, shuffle back, shuffle back. Eyes up, eyes up. There you go. You better look at those fine people. They're going to get you. Ready and go. One, two, three, four. Boom. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And arms out wide. Ten push ups. Go. You thought I was going to say jumping jacks. I'm messing with you guys. That's what I'm loving. Ooh, good push ups. Who's got the best ones? Great. How's your push ups, man? Awesome. Catherine, you got awesome push-ups. Let me see them. Good job, Merrick. Awesome. When you're done, stand back up. Okay. Now, over the last few weeks, guys, we've been working a lot of different sparring combinations. They all have something in common. Do any of them just end? I just, like, throw a couple moves, and then I'm just, like, done sparring? Yeah. That's not how it works, right? Yeah. I got to finish my technique off, okay? So here, you're going to go round, 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 side, but what if all of those kicks didn't, didn't hit? We're going to finish a little hand combination to make sure we score our point. So we're going to come in here with a high back fist, and we're going to drop in, low reverse punch. Okay? So we're going to come in again. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop. Okay? Let's try it. Ready? Four kicks. Round, round, round side. Back fist, reverse punch. Ready? And go. One, two, three. 
four. Ayah! Score your point. Get back, get back. Eyes up on them, eyes up on them. Ready and go. Round, 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 side. Back is cross. Shovel back, shovel back. Nice, good job, Riley. Ready and go. Round, 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 side. Boom, boom. Now, if you accidentally set your foot down in the middle of the combo, it's not over. That's okay. So you can go one, two. Oh, I lost my balance. Three, four. Boom, boom. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, let's do it. Ready? And go. One, two. Set down. Three, four. Pop, pop. You can set it down every time. You can go round, 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 side, jab, cross. You can do it that way. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Set it down between each kick. Ready and go. Wrap, 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 side, boom, boom. Good, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Last one, let's see if you guys are faster than Riley. No dropping it this time. One, two, three, side, jab, cross, shuffle back. Let's see who the first person is that gets back and is ready to go. Who thinks they got this? Who thinks they got this? Levi, you think you got this? You got this? Okay, let's do it. Wyatt, you got this? Let's do it, ready? And fastest one, fastest one right here. Go! One, two, three, four. One, two, shut the back. Oh, no turning your back, ah! Ah, too many people turn their backs. No turning your backs. Even though I throw my jab cross, I don't go, oh, that was cool. And then they like, turn around. Nobody wants to see your back. Boom, boom, interrupt, shuffle back, ready? And go, one, two, three, four. Boom, boom. Hands up. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Nice. One more. Last one. Everybody say, last one. Last one. Fastest one. Fastest one. All right, last one. Fastest one. Zach Lance. You're going to beat everybody right here, man. Catherine, you're going to beat everybody? You got this? Nice. Penny, you got this? Both quiets. All right, Chris, Taylor. Taylor, don't let that old man beat you. All right, ready? And go. One, two, three, four. One, two, shovel, shovel, shovel. Ah, don't turn it back. Nice. If you won, I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide if you won. If you won, in your head, if you feel like you won, you have 10 push-ups. If you did not win, you have 10 push-ups. Go. You decide if you won or not, you still have 10 push-ups. Keep it going, crank them out, crank them out. Oh, I don't see everybody doing push-ups though. Oh, what if I said we were going to do push-ups until everybody was doing them? Who thinks that they could do push-ups until everybody, even the people who like cheat when they do their push-ups, like, like they don't put their feet on the floor and they just kind of go like this. Oh yeah, we know, we, we know who's cheating. Okay, okay, good. Everybody say honesty. 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 Now, if you don't do your push-ups, does it affect Riley or me? Doesn't affect me if you don't do your push-ups. Who does it affect if you don't do your push-ups? Who doesn't get stronger that day? Yeah. It only affects you, right? So everybody say honesty. honesty. Guys, our personal honesty only affects ourselves. So let's try it one more time, because I think we can do better. Everybody push up position for me fast. Yes, sir. Let me see who's going to honestly do their 10 best push-ups. I'm going to do them with you. I want to see who's got the 10 best push-ups in the group here. Ready? No cheating, though. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Nice job, yeah. Rock Club students. Yeah. Grab your nunchucks. Grab a nunchuck. <coughs> Grab a nunchuck there, my friends. Everybody's got one. You just need one today. Black Book Club students will only work with one anyway. Got a couple of Master Club students here having some fun with us today. All right. Once you got your chucks here, let's get warmed up with it. I mean, you're already warmed up, but let's get warmed up with our nunchucks. We're going to work our over-the-shoulder passes to start. So over the shoulder, remember, you're going to start in your best hand. You're going to bring it straight over that same shoulder. Grab in front. Let go with the top hand. Bring it over to the other shoulder. Grab in front. In front. In front. Behind. There you go. And then boom. Boom. Every single time, your same shoulder. And then good. drop the hand up. Put the tensor in front. Look straight up. So, a couple of tips, guys. There's a couple of times, and Mr. Thompson and I will have you flip your nunchuck over, but for the most part, when you use a nunchuck, your thumbs are going to go towards the rope or the string or the chain or whatever you have. Okay, so 
for the most part, when you're using your nunchucks, the chain is going to be towards your thumb, okay? So as you're doing your passes, you want your thumb up to catch it. Thumb up to catch it. Look at me. Catch. So you're reaching behind your shoulder. You're reaching up. There you go. Okay. Now, take it in your best hand. Whichever your best hand is, your right hand, your left hand. Let's get our figure eight going. We've worked on this before. Your figure eight, remember you're going in and out. In and out. Not your circle, your figure eight. There you go. And you may have to start kind of like Riley's doing. You kind of start with your big X, draw it with your arm, and then you bring it in and get it smaller. And it should mostly just be wrist. Okay, keep it in tight. Now, where's my other hand? Look at my other hand. It's right up here by my face so I can catch nice and easy. Good. Wide sign, bring that hand in now. Good, so if you're still getting this big thing going, this isn't what we want, this is just kind of swinging your arm. This gets you going, but then bring it in. Keep it tight. The faster you can go now, the better. So get it going really fast. Now from here, catch it. Remember we worked on this catch. Down here by my belt, everybody look at my hand. I'm gonna catch, right there. Figure eight, catch. Got it? Figure eight, catch. One, two, three, boom. Now if you've got it, strike with it. So when I strike, boom, fire it out. Back to my figure eight. Catch, strike. Figure eight. Catch, strike. Good, nice, keep it going. You got it. Figure eight. Oops, no drop your weapon. All right, get that catch going. Strike and catch. Let me see just the strike and catch right here. So catch by your belt. Strike, make a circle. Catch it right by your belt. So when you strike, you let go with you let go with this one. Catch. Let's break out from dimension. So I want you guys to find a target when you're striking. So Riley's having a little trouble here. She's like, oh, I just throw my nunchuck out. She's got to have a target. So she's going to aim right at you guys. She's aiming right at the TV all of you are on, and she's going to strike you. Joey, I'm looking, or Kaylee, whichever one you are right there, I'm going to strike. Boom, right at you. Boom, I got you, AJ. Boom, Emma. Boom, Cora, gotcha. Okay, so give me a target. I want you to strike us right in the nose here. Boom, get it out. Let me see it. Let me come right back and catch it. There you go. Boom, right back and catch. There you go, catch it, there you go, good. Boom, strike and catch. Now, if you got it, you can move around with it. Figure eight, catch, strike and catch. Where else can you catch it? Under your armpit, right? So you can go figure eight, and instead of catching with your hands, figure eight and catch underneath your same arm. So if my nunchuck's in my right hand, I catch it under my right armpit. There you go, so figure eight, Boom, clamp it down. There you go, nice. Catherine's got it there, she's got the figure eight. And clamp. Now this has the one drawback that your nunchuck will start to smell like your armpit. And that's okay, it happens, right? All right, keep it going, figure eight. And catch. But when you strike with it, it's got the added benefit that it smells like your armpit. Boom, strike and catch. So figure eight, catch under your arm. Bam, strike with it. Bring it back. Strike. Back, or I can strike, boom, and catch it in my arm. So every time I just bring it right back, right underneath, and catch it. And just try to catch. If you've got shorter arms, it's gonna be a little more difficult. But when you catch it, you want to catch the the stick part of the nunchuck and not the rope part. When you catch the rope part, and I've had this happen, you whack yourself in the back of the head. Okay, so you want to catch the stick right underneath your arm. And boom, and that takes practice, okay? And that's how you get it better, you get your practice going. All right, from here now, everybody catch it underneath your arm. We're gonna do an around the head strike, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it around your head and then strike down, okay? So it's, it's pretty easy, there you go. So we're gonna go across our body and down, good. So when Ms. Riley does it here, she's coming around and boom, right through. She's gonna make a big circle, bam, hit hard, so just try. Big circle and bam, nice, good. 
So you go back here underneath your arm, big circle, strike. And now see if you can get it flowing, okay? So from your figure eight, you can catch, 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 around, boom, okay? So keep that strike going. And I know you've worked your hips with Mr. Thompson right before. So if you want to change direction on your nunchuck, if you strike with it and it's over here and you can't use it anymore, come to your hip and then bring it back up. Figure eight, catch, strike, strike, hip, up. Good, keep it going. There you go, keep working that figure eight. Got it, now this thing. We're gonna get that figure eight going in and out, in and out. Ready, we're gonna catch it by our belt. Ready, and catch. Ready, figure eight, and catch. Ready, and catch. Right there. Now, strike and catch. Ooh, which hand are you gonna use? All right, now we've done all this work in our right hand. Guess what we gotta do now? Switch it. Now, when we do not nunchucks, how do we switch it? Do you just like hand it over? Never. We gotta do it the fancy way. We gotta do it the fancy way. Let's do an over the shoulder pass. Bring it over. Let me see. There you go. Good. Whenever we pass it, we never just like hand it over. There's a pass involved. So you can go between the legs and then bring it up on the other side. Let's try that. Ready? Between the legs and come back up. Now, this is easier when you're holding your nunchucks. If you hold it down here by the bottom, you're going to hit the floor a lot. If you want to try to catch it down by the rope. So between the legs, Come right back up. Between the legs, come right back up. You guys got this one? Let me see it. Now, can you do your passes three times without missing? So one, two, three, without missing. Can you do it? Try it, let me see. Three of them. There you go, one, there you go. From the front now. So watch, guys, I'm gonna come straight over the top from the front and catch behind, okay? So Miss Riley here, she's got her nunchuck. She's gonna go between her legs. Ooh, you gotta me apart. And boom, she's gonna catch it on the other side. I'm waiting for it, okay? So you gotta have that hand waiting for it because if you just swing it and nothing's there, you're just gonna end up hitting yourself. So you gotta have that hand there. Like if you were gonna go to the airport, you'd wanna have that plane waiting for you. Boom. If you wait for it, it's going to be there, okay? Let me see it. Let me see it. Now, let's see what you can do in your left hand. Let's see what you can do in your not great hand. Get that figure eight go. Let's see it. Ready in that hand. Yeah. Let's see that spin. Let's see that spin. Let's see what you got. Zach, you got it three times in a row. Very nice. Excellent. Keep that figure eight going. It's a little more challenging. Now, can you catch it? So, in your left, you're going to catch it with that right hand now. Not that one. Remember, we never put two hands on one nunchuck. Let's go. Catch. Let go. Catch. Let go. Catch. There you go. Try. Catch. There you go. So, guys, this is going to work your hand eye coordination. So, you got to strike it out and catch. Strike it out and catch, right? If you're missing, what do you got to do? Got to practice. Okay? Got to have that hand waiting for it. Everybody see my hand? Waiting right here? Boom. Boom. If it's waiting, it almost always goes right to where it needs to go. If it's not waiting, and I'm trying to search for it, I'm going to miss it a bunch, okay? So, boom, strike. Catch it underneath your arm. Strike and catch. Strike and catch. 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 How we doing? Looks like you guys got this pretty well. Allison, man, you look like a ninja. You look like Bruce Lee with those things. Nice job, dude. All right. How you doing, Penny? Looking good. Get your strike. Bring it over your hip. All right, who's got, who thinks they've got an around the neck pass? Anybody can do an around the neck pass? Anybody remember how to do it? Peterson's got him. Peterson's got him easy, nice. All right, so you're around the neck pass, guys. You're going to start on one side. It's going to be kind of like you're going to give yourself a big hug. You're going to bring your nunchuck all the way around, okay? So I'm going to put this other hand here waiting for it. I'm going to swing it all the way around. Bring it out the other way. That other hand's going to be on my other chin. Boom, waiting for it, okay? Try it. So one more time. I'll turn so you guys can see me. No, okay. From here, this hand's coming across the front side of my body, and I'm putting the rope on the back of my neck. Then I let go. Okay. Try it. 
So Riley's gonna bring it across her body. It's gonna come around. She's gonna have this other hand waiting for it. She lets go with her old hand and then brings it. Oh, snuck it in there. Snuck it on the top. There you go. And brings it out. So one more time. She brings, oh, that one. She's gonna bring it up and around. She's gonna have the hand, oh, hand over the top. Waiting for it. And then let go with your old hand. Bring it around. All right, keep it going. Nice. Now, guys, this is one of those things you might find. Our first three months doing nunchucks for you, if you're like an orange belt, green belt, purple belt, low blue belt, this is your first time doing nunchucks around, there will be tricks and things that you don't get as easy. And then if I'm watching all of my like high blues and reds, people who've done nunchucks before, guess what? They're getting this stuff a lot easier, okay? But it takes a little bit of practice. So level twos and threes and black belts, you guys look phenomenal. Level ones, you guys are rocking, you guys. Keep it up. So from here, let's have a little fun with it. Everybody take both hands, one on each chuck. You got freestyle. So I'm going to give you one minute to kind of freestyle with your chucks. So you got to keep it spinning for the whole minute. So you got to keep one side. You can figure eight. You can pass. You can between the legs. You can strike. You can come up. Whatever you want to work. If you guys have been working your over the shoulder or the over the hand pass, whatever it is, you guys can play with that too. But you got one minute. You got to keep your chucks spinning. Are you guys ready yet, sir? Are you ready? No stopping. One whole minute. Are you ready, Miss Riley? Let's do it. Ready? And go. Get him spinning. Go. One whole minute. Spin. Boom. No stopping. Try not to repeat tricks. Keep them going. Keep working. What do you got? Let me see. Don't do the same thing over and over. There you go. Work with that figure eight. Don't always do the things that you find easy. Do the things that challenge you, and that's how you get better, right? So how are we doing? Who's got it? Who's got a forward figure eight they can do? Got that forward figure eight? Now, can you do a backwards figure eight? So it's coming back at you. Man, Ms. Riley's working her passes. I love it. Now bring it up to the other side. Good. She's going to meet it with the other hand. Good. Who's got it? Over the top. Boom. Around the neck. Between the legs. Keep it going. Who's got it over the hand spin? Anybody know how to do the over the hand spin? Boom. Bring it up. Figure eight. Over the hand. Figure eight. Nice. Awesome, AJ's working hard. Keep it up. You got 10 more seconds. Go, 10, nine. Man, Miss Catherine's working hard. Keep it going. I love it. Great, very nice. Six, keep them spinning. Three, good job, Allison. Two, awesome, Miss Lexus. And one, nice. Go to attention, yes, sir. Nice job, Miss Lexi. Okay, here's what I want you to do now. Let your nunchuck hang. We're going to work on just catching it. Okay, so you're going to keep your hand on one and you're going to bring it back towards you to catch. Okay, so just this hand is going to come back, it's going to catch. Back and catch. Okay, so it's coming over the top. I'm going to bring it straight back in and catch it. Now, if you have small hands, this can be a little tougher. Okay, not going to lie, if you've got smaller hands, this might even be, I don't want to say impossible, but it's going to be pretty hard because you got small hands. And Miss Riley's kind of got little tiny fingers. It'll be hard to catch it and trap it, but you want to trap this nunchuck. Boom, when it comes back. Now, this is kind of a fun strike, but from here, we're going to do kind of a dart strike. So what I want you to do is when you bring it up and catch it, you're going to keep two fingers. If you've ever used chopsticks, like if you've ever used chopsticks to use your Chinese food or whatever, but what I want you to do is keep a good hold of one and take two fingers to hold the other one. And we're going to throw it like a dart but you can't throw your nunchucks across the room. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna dart, boom, and then pop it back, okay? So I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna dart straight out, and pop it right back. Boom, dart it straight out. This is literally, you're gonna hit somebody right on the bridge of the nose with this one. Why? Because what happens if you get hit in the bridge of the nose? Anybody know? Your eyes tear up. Okay, so your eyes tear up, your nose may bleed, but that's not what we care about. We want their eyes to tear up so that they can't see us, okay? So one more time, it comes up, boom, and boom, straight out. Okay, so you've got your chuck, you're holding your hand, and whack, straight out, right at it. Could hit them in the eye too, that's okay. Boom, strike, and then you can go right into your, your nunchucks. Okay. Let's see it, let's see what you guys got. 30 seconds, freestyle, ready? Start from there, ooh, come on, very nice. Boom, pop it out, and then freestyle it up. Let's see it. See if you can, while you're freestyling, come up and catch and fire that nunchuck out. Nice. Good job, Mr. Symmetra. Very nice. Keep it up. 
Keep those checks spinning. And if you can do it in your right hand pretty easy, can you do it in your left? Because that's a little more challenging. And then the next step for my black belt club students is when you guys go into master club and leadership, you start working double med chucks. If you can do this in one hand, you can do it in the other hand, being able to do it in both, that's a whole other challenge. Keep it spinning. You got 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8. Man, Miss Riley's spinning fast. 5, keep going. 4, keep spinning. 3, ooh, nice. 2, and 1. Catch your chuck. Bring it to go together. Go to attention. Yes, sir. Black belt club students, nice job. High five. Hi, Chuck. All right, very good. You guys did awesome today. Uh, so we've got those in-person classes. Uh, for right now, guys, what we're working on in those in-person classes is your form, and then we're doing nunchucks too. So if you guys get signed up for those, we'll make sure you guys got all your material, everything you need to test, and we're playing with some nunchucks in those classes too. So we'd love to see you guys. Why right, I'm looking at myself, looking at myself. It's weird. <laughs> all right, you guys did awesome today. Very fantastic. Um, and again, so we'd love to see you for those. If not, keep make sure you guys are training hard. Keep your practice up, and we will have um, a bunch of announcements here coming out pretty quick. But keep up the good work, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nice work. And attention, yes, sir. Bow courtesy. Hands behind your back. All right, so we start our 12 crazy weeks and our themes for summer. Those all start, I believe, next week. So even on Zoom classes, we'll be doing all our fun themes and all that stuff. We'll also have attendance uh, prizes. And we've got a contest going where you guys will be earning tickets for different things as well. So we'll be doing that both on Zoom and in person. All right, guys. Black Oak Green, as a dedicated student of the martial arts, I will live my life by the principles of Black Oak. Modesty. Courtesy, Good. integrity, there you go, perseverance, self-control, and indomitable spirit. Attention, yes sir, bow courtesy, and position, sir, personal achievement is the best, sir, awesome, awesome job, way to work hard tonight, guys. Can I show you my pet setup? Can get her? Bye. Can I show you guys the pet setup, guys? Yeah, let's see. Bye. There we go. Mr. Thompson? I mean, Master State? Yeah, we're here. Can I show you my pet setup? Yeah, we're here. Okay. Um. Um, first of all, um, hold on. Riley Roo? Wait. Oh. Hold on. I had, I had a pet moth, but I think he died. 